it's Bobby again with BobbyRaffin.com and I want to talk to you about getting over the fear of going live on Facebook. Uh, we can go live on YouTube now and on Instagram and a whole bunch of other platforms. So Facebook is probably the easiest to start practicing in and I have a few tips. First of all, you know, I've heard a few different things now and I've actually said one about when Facebook is going to go uh, the post mainly live. I, I have heard, <laughs> so I've heard something totally different today. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit. I've heard that in one to two years it was going to go um, pretty much 90 to 95 percent live videos and then today I heard in 2020 it will be about 80 percent so you know just backtracking <laughs> let's just go with it <laughs> how it turns out because apparently we don't all know <laughs> but the the point is is that it is going towards live videos more and more and more and the faster that you get into live videos the more you're going to be up to speed and not have to catch up when the majority are going live you're going to be right there with them and that's a good thing right so I have some tips for you. First of all, you need to get over your fear. And I have a feeling any moment now my dogs are going to start in. And um, I hope not. I apologize. Real life here, I have three dogs. <laughs> um, they'd go nuts if I put them in a, in a room. So that would probably be even noisier. So my, my suggestion to get out of the fear of going live because honestly if you haven't done a live video yet it's probably really daunting and there's a lot of fears with that but you know what we fear the unknown the most and when we do something the first time it's like ah, uh, you know and it's probably sucky and uh, just awful you do it the second time and it's not so bad it's not so sucky as much as the first time and on and on and on right things still may happen though it's live and uh, you can't stop your video to edit um, like with my glasses you know I got the glare it's hard to find a place in my home where I'm not gonna have glare on my glasses so I got to deal with that hopefully you want to want to hear what I have to say more than you're focused on the glare on my glasses right <laughs> so you can have fun with it too you can bring your personality out and have fun with your live videos so here are some of my tips okay so if you're catching the replay um, pop a replay down in the comments let me know uh, I want to I want to say hi to you and if you like this if I've offered any kind of value whatsoever please share it that's always fun and let me know if you do share it so I can say thank you and so tip number one and if you're catching the replay type a number one in the comments and tip number one is take the focus off of you okay um, your focus should be on helping people and that's part of attraction marketing it's not uh, it shouldn't be on just selling your product money 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 because people are going to sense that a mile away they're going to smell commission breath I heard that probably about oh my gosh maybe six months ago and I forget who I heard it from because I've been listening to so many trainings <laughs> it's kind of all <laughs> blending in now but I thought that was hilarious um, you go into any of our direct sales uh, groups here on Facebook and you are going to understand what commission breath is like you're going to sense it you're going to see those posts uh, you know making that list of a hundred or two hundred of your friends and family that's kind of all covered in commission breath <laughs> we don't want to do that it's it's sending people away <clears throat> Excuse me, you don't want to lose your friends and family over uh, growing your home business, right? 
I lost some friends. I, I don't hear from them anymore on Facebook. <laughs> I, I lost some, so you know, it happens, right? So let's try to let's try to keep it from happening anymore. So take the focus off of you and focus on other people, on their wants and their needs, and and talk to that. Speak to their hearts. Uh, speak to what what they're trying to figure out. Okay, instead of just uh, your latest sale or or your your company name and how your company is the best over everybody else's company, right? I mean. We all feel that way. I love my company. I love, love my product company so much, and I use my products every single day. You know, but there's other, there are other product companies out there like mine. Um, not too many, <laughs> but there's a couple. And um, who am I to to just the other the other companies? I love mine, and that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, so tip number two, if you're ready for two, type a two in the comments for me. Um, make sure that you take notes before starting your live. Now I have, <laughs> I, I forget to do this, okay? And I get so, cause I'm on a schedule, I'm on a tight time crunch. If, if I have a busy schedule at work, I work from home, but I'm still on a schedule. And if I have tickets, uh, customer service that I need to take care of, that is my priority. And so I do my lives in between those when, I'm, when I don't have any or when um, our ticket line is at zero, right? So I want to make sure that I'm doing this as quickly as possible and in those intervals so I'm still focusing on my job because it's really important to me and it's important to my company, right? They allow me to work from home. I need to give them my all. And so I want to be responsible. I've been doing that since 2010 and I want to keep doing that. Um, I really actually enjoy my job. And so sometimes my issue is I, I know what I want to say in my head and then I start doing my live and then it's like I get distracted with the dogs or, or something is going on outside or I skip in my brain to something else that I wanted to talk about and I totally forget a topic or a point that I wanted to get across. And then I get flustered with myself. And so we it's always good to have some notes in front of us. See, I have mine right now. So I'm going over that. And there's no issue with that. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be pinpointed on what you want to talk about and what you want to get across to your audience. And that is a really important thing. You want to be focused, right? You want to have a focus pinpoint topic so you're not going all over the place, it's not being scattered around. Um, so let's see, tip number three, upload to YouTube. You do, you start doing live videos and you start getting more and more comfortable with doing live videos and you get a couple that aren't so bad, put them on YouTube. I've got, I've got two YouTube accounts. One has all of my just awful bad beginner uh, live videos and videos I've done on my computer that I've uploaded to YouTube and then I have another account that I'm starting just for my business and so I put a couple up there as an example because people will want to see where you start from to where you go so it's not a bad idea to, to actually upload your beginning YouTube or your beginning videos, whether you're just starting lives or not, because people are going to see that progress. They can't follow what they can't follow, right? If you are some high up there network marketer, all polished and perfect, those newbies aren't going to be able to do what you're doing. They're not going to be able to duplicate what you're what you're doing. So. It's actually good to let people see where you're starting from. Let people see the beginnings because that's doable. They can actually do that. And that feels a little safer to a lot of people. And let's see. Something else is 
what I am just starting on now, I just heard about this and it's such a great idea, is to make a plan out, well I didn't just hear about it, but I got reminded, I should say, of it. Uh, make a plan out for the week of topics that you wanna talk about, Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday, whatever it may be. Make that uh, topic plan out, write it out, put some pinpoints down, some bullet points so you don't forget. Um, even do a little write up on what you wanna talk about. Your, do your notes ahead of time so you have that in front of you for every day of the week. You can also do a themed plan of action with that too. Um, if you're doing like one week you're doing videos. So you talk about doing Facebook Live videos, talk about doing um, computer webinar type videos, training videos, uh, YouTube, uploading your videos to YouTube. Every single day can be a different topic on that subject line or have a week talking about leads, um, uh, prospecting, um, calling cold leads. I just did a one earlier and it was pretty short, but I did one about calling cold leads and losing the script, you know, just getting to know the people, asking them what they need. I talk way too much with my hands. Sorry about that. I just noticed it. <laughs> Got to sit on my hands to do these. But, you know, be you. So if you do talk with your hands, make it not so it's like all bad in front of your face. But, I mean, still, you know, be you because... That's what people are going to get to know. Whether they like you or not, whether you like me or not, it, I am who I am and I can't be somebody else for you, right? Uh, this is how God created me. This is how I'm going to be. So it is what it is, you know? <laughs> so make your theme. And another um, suggestion, this is kind of like a little bonus suggestion for you when you're doing live videos. Watch other people's live videos like this one. Watch other people's live videos while you're watching the video. Take some notes and with your notes, do a live video on that. Make it your own. That's okay. That's us growing and advancing and that's how, how we learn. That's how I learn. I watch and then I do. I need to put that action in place. And sometimes somebody else's video will spark some ideas within me. And then I can make it totally my own thing and go out and do a live video. That's how we do it. Just do that. It's not stealing when when you're when you're adding your own words to it, you know, when you're adding your own thing to it, your own personality. It's not stealing because I tell you what, I've seen the same subject and the same topics from many, 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 many different high top earners. Okay, so either one's coming up with something and everybody else is following or we all, you know, they all have the same idea and they're putting it all in their own voice. And that's what I do too. And there is nothing wrong with that. So also let me know, and this is something I forget to do all the time, and I can't even remember if I did it or not, but if I didn't, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, drop a, a live in the comments, or hey, watched you on the replay from wherever you're at. I, I'm in Oregon, and we actually have, it started off cloudy this morning, but we actually have a little sunshine. I'm hoping it stays for a little while, although the rain is good because we've had so many fires in, in Oregon, Washington, California, so, so we really are welcoming the rain here in Oregon. So get over your fear of doing live videos, no matter what year it's going to be or the percentage, live is staying. Live is the... the best and highest way to get people to know you to, to get your your branding out there they're going to to watch you they'll see your personality they'll see your character and it's going to build your brand okay so do your live videos and say hi to me and I will talk to you all very soon bye